Yo, yo, just want to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Jade Black. I'm going to talk about them later on in this video. But real quick, I just want to let you guys know, Jade Black is doing this awesome AirPods Pro giveaway. Basically, 15 of you guys have the chance to win a pair of free AirPods Pro models. Basically, for every item that you guys purchase, that is one entry to winning a pair. Just go ahead and click the link in the description. Check them out. Let's go ahead and get into this video. What up, fellas? It's your boy, Johnny, and welcome back to my channel. So, a few months ago, I did make a video about five lessons I wish I knew before turning 20. Surprisingly, it did pretty well for my channel and y'all smashed the like button so thanks for that trust me if i had a video like that when i was in high school my life probably would have taken a different path so that is why this video is part two and i know it's going to help you guys a lot so the first lesson that i wish i knew before i was 20 was that social media was deceiving as fuck. See, when I was younger, I didn't know any better. Instagram was only three to five years old. And this is the point when things really shifted from actually posting things about your life to flexing on their followers for validation because more than likely, they need to overcompensate for something. And then me being young and dumb, experiencing firsthand the Ty Lopez era of marketing and being the target market for a ton of digital marketers, in my eyes, all of these influencers made it. I basically wanted to be them. I was buying courses and only posting the best pictures of myself living in New York City, making it look like I made it and flexing on everyone. I basically made it look like I was as happy as I can be. <sighs> Nah, man, I'll be real with you. I haven't suffered from depression, depression per se, but I've hit a countless number of lows in my life. Back when I started this channel, and a lot of you guys don't know this, I couldn't really pay my rent when I was living in Brooklyn, which was around $667. I was in a ton of student debt, and basically I couldn't do this for a few months straight. And you know what I did? I was editing videos for my boy, Richie Lee, just so I can be able to afford rent and groceries for the rest of that month. And he probably doesn't even know that, but hey, I look like I made it based on the posts I was uploading online. Oh, I mean, fuck, I was copying the bread ones just so I can be able to impress other people on the gram. I mean, how stupid is that? And a lot of influencers are like this, not in debt and can't afford rent per se, but they are only posting the best pictures of their physique or they're manipulating the shit out of them. They probably don't own that Lambo and there are a ton of influencers out there that actually pay for likes, subscribers, and comments. So the next time you open up the gram, you start scrolling, just don't feel discouraged, man. Don't compare yourself to anyone. Nobody is perfect online, and it's the people that seem the most perfect that probably have the most flaws and have a deeper void to fill. So number two, and a lesson I've learned recently, and that is to just not take things so seriously and learn to laugh at yourself. <laughs> man, I used to be around a ton of dudes that wanted to be the, the alpha male of the room. Always trying to be the man, acting tough, <laughs> taking up space. Man, it's funny when I look back at it. But you guys all know this, you become like the people you're around. And I was becoming just like them. I then took things way too seriously, either from my friends or in the YouTube comment section. And bro, life is meant to be enjoyed. Laugh a little. People out here acting like robots, hustling 24-7, 365. Look, we get it, man. You're on your hustle. You don't always need to flex that. In fact, I like to make fun of it. So what I've been doing recently is just turning things around and making fun of myself. I am a short dude. I don't really know how to dress. This shirt is from a museum. And yes, I was stuck in 2017 this year wearing flannels, distressed zipper pants, and Chelsea boots. I also used to want to be the most alpha in the room because I was overcompensating for something else. I can admit that. That's why I'm making this video for you guys. And that's what I mean by being able to laugh at yourself. Laugh at your mistakes. And it's fine because overreacting to any joke made at you just shows that they probably told the truth and that you're probably insecure about that. And it's cool, we all have insecurities. There's nothing wrong with that. But when you can accept that joke and learn to make fun of yourself, that just shows how comfortable you are in your own skin. And that, my man, deserves a lot of respect. And like I said at the very beginning of the video, this video is sponsored by Jade Black. You guys know I'd only work with brands I recommend and would make a purchase myself from them. And if you guys don't know who they are, they are a sunglasses brand that was created because we all know that in order to get quality sunglasses that are made well and protect your eyes from the sun you've got to spend over a hundred dollars well that's because the entire name brand sunglasses market is owned by one company Luxottica luckily with Jade Black's shades they're made with the same exact materials as brands like YSL Gucci and Ray-Ban. And that consists of Italian cellulose acetate, stainless steel, polarized lenses with UVA and UVB protection. And you guys can get it for more than half the price at $49. And if you guys use my discount code, Johnny-10, 
It's gonna be $44. These are gonna make an awesome holiday gift. My brother has a pair as well. And they also got this cool anti-reflective blue coating on the back of the lenses that just gives it a really awesome look. And like I said earlier, for every pair you purchase, if you get one for your brother, your sister, your parents, that's gonna be a total of four entries into the AirPods Pro giveaway. Go ahead and click the link in the description, check them out. You guys can take their quiz if you guys are unsure about what pair of shades will fit your face shape. And once again, thank you Jade Black for sponsoring this video. Let's move on to the next lesson. So the next lesson I wish I knew when I was younger was valuing my time. Back when I was in high school and in college, all I cared about was Black Ops 2, my shitty Honda Civic, and just having as much fun as I can. All of these are fine little hobbies in moderation, but I can tell you firsthand, as soon as I got out of school, I would go straight to home, turn on my PS3, and play Black Ops 2 all the way till I went to sleep. And man, I just wasted my time away. When in reality, I could have used that time a lot more wisely, maybe study some finance, or try new things, figuring out what I really like instead of wasting thousands and thousands of dollars on college. Now yes, if you guys have seen my videos from earlier, I was I was anti-gamer. But you know, nowadays in recreation, it's it's pretty fun. But there is this concept called opportunity cost, and I'm sure you guys already know about this. But if you guys don't, here's a short summary. Let's just say you spent 2 hours watching Doug DeMiro talk about the quirks and features of all these new cars. This? Cool, cool. I still respect that. It's a great channel, but there's an opportunity cost of two hours that could have just been spent, let's say, fixing your car or cleaning your room so you can be more productive or learning a new editing style or skill. Whatever it is, there is an opportunity cost to everything. And the best ways I like to utilize my time is to hit the gym, watching some Graham Stephan, educating myself about finance. And honestly, I really like keeping up with the news and politics because it helps me gain some more perspective and it helps to have something to talk about with my homies. So value your time, spend it wisely. If you sleep around eight hours a day, you have roughly around a thousand minutes per day. And we're always spending those minutes, running it empty. And then the next day you get paid with a glorious amount of another thousand minutes. So what are you gonna do with your time? Fourth lesson I wish I knew before was the whole concept of being animosity free. So if you guys didn't know already, I've been saying this on my channel for a while now. And so let me tell you what it actually means to me. Back even last year, I was in this weird phase of negativity and hate. Probably because I was around people like that, but nevertheless, I was an asshole. I was rude in some comments, I despised people that were ahead of me, and I even made a video on why you should hate more people. Nah, I am off that. But I've chosen to leave it up so you guys can actually see how I've changed as a person. Hate takes you nowhere. It honestly does lead to suffering, as good old Yoda would say, not not baby Yoda, he's just cute. Anyways, having so much hate in your heart, sure, yes, it can be an effective motivator. And honestly, for a lot of young guys, it's probably the only motivator. But here's what happens when you remain in a negative, hateful state. One, you are not fun to be around. Two, you will go about your life walking around with a huge chip on your shoulder, all because you want revenge or you're just jealous of another person. And then eventually you turn into an asshole. It's not fun. And let me tell you what's actually not an alpha male trait dominating people. Those are hateful people where their hates will take them to a certain point, not very far. Alpha males, I, I hate using that term because guys become so obsessed with that term. But anyways, they lift people up, they respect everyone, and they're open-minded to every person. And they don't look down on others. I've experienced both hands of being hateful and being animosity free. And lifting people up, helping others, has resulted in either me meeting the coolest people in my life or motivating the friends I grew up with to pursue what they want. And honestly, I think it's helped this channel a ton versus I'm not gonna be friends with you if you're not a hustler. And this has done wonders to my mental health and happiness. And I must say, now, currently, I've been the most happy and most fulfilled that I've ever been in my life. And what matters more than that? Alright fellas, I hope this video helps you guys out. I just made fun of myself. But yeah guys, this isn't just a fashion channel. This is a channel about building confidence. Of course, you can build a ton of confidence with having great style. But yeah, these lessons really would have helped me back then. And I hope it really does help you out. If you guys enjoyed it, smash that like button. Follow me on Instagram at flywithjohnnytai. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until then, stay fly, stay animosity free, and I'm out bro. Peace.